Since Avengers Endgame shattered box office records in 2019, the landscape of comic book movies has been anything but steady. The genre, once the undisputed king of blockbuster cinema, has seen both triumphant highs and surprising stumbles. As 2024 unfolds, it's shaping up to be a particularly strange year for these films, with Joker, Folie à deux, being the latest example of the genre's unpredictability. The turbulence began in 2020 when three high-profile releases, Birds of Prey, The New Mutants, and Wonder Woman, 1984, all struggled, with the latter two failing to even recoup their budgets. The pandemic year proved brutal for the genre, while 2021's Spider-Man No Way Home was a major hit. Its cameo-driven story has aged poorly as the initial excitement has worn off. Meanwhile, Marvel's other post-pandemic films left a fainter impression with an increasingly confusing connection to TV shows clouding their impact. On the DC side, The Suicide Squad brought fresh energy to the brand, while Zack Snyder's Justice League continued to cling to the past. Sony's contribution, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, did well enough, but it remains the only live-action film in Sony's Marvel Universe to spark widespread interest. DC's fortunes have been similarly mixed. While The Batman is often regarded as the best comic book movie since Endgame, other DC films, such as Black Adam, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and The Flash, failed to make a lasting impact. Meanwhile, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has struggled to maintain momentum. Sony, too, has seen its share of failures with Morbius, though it did strike gold with Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Marvel's strongest recent offerings came from director-driven projects like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 Stars, where the creator's distinct visions shone through. However, the pitfalls of this approach became apparent with Thor, Love and Thunder, which left many underwhelmed. Elsewhere in the MCU, films like The Marvels and Ant-Man and The Wasp, Quantumania, felt more like obligatory links in a broader narrative than standalone successes. In 2024, we've already witnessed an expected hit surpassing expectations, Deadpool and Wolverine, alongside an unexpected failure. Joker, Folie à deux. And while Madame Webb was anticipated to fail, it somehow underperformed even those low expectations. Looking ahead, Venom, The Last Dance, and Craven the Hunter are on the horizon. Venom will likely follow its predecessors in being a quirky standalone hit, while Craven may unfortunately share Morbius and Madame Webb's fate. Both Deadpool and Wolverine and Joker, Folie à deux, offer lessons, though likely the wrong ones for the future of the genre. Deadpool and Wolverine was a billion-dollar hit, and while it delivered fun and action, its appeal was largely superficial. It leaned heavily into Disney-approved humor, creating a sense of safe, sanitized entertainment. While undeniably entertaining, its reliance on the same trick of familiar cameos and jokes risks diminishing returns as the formula is repeated. Joker, Folie à deux, on the other hand, attempted to push boundaries. While it may have faltered, with a courtroom drama that quickly turned dull and a controversial plot point involving a character's sudden transformation, it still aimed for something more profound. Despite its missteps, it is the kind of movie that seeks to provoke thought, making it a more intriguing failure than Deadpool and Wolverine's shallow success. Ultimately, Deadpool and Wolverine might have been the bigger commercial success, but it's films like Joker that challenge the boundaries of what a comic book movie can be. Even when they don't quite work, these ambitious swings are vital for the genre's evolution, especially in an industry that risks growing stale through over-reliance on safe, formulaic hits.